I must say, Ronan Ogara, what you said at the top of the program sort of changed the perception of everything, and you were nearly right. Yeah, yeah, well, I think that's... Um, <coughs> There'll be young boys and girls around the country and they'll be absolutely thrilled, I think. It has restored a pride, belief, respect, everything we've asked that was questioned about these players, about the rugby game in Ireland, and I'm very proud here tonight. It was absolutely horrific in the last minute. Putting on my sporting hat, you have to admire the clutch mentality of the Kiwis to have that uh, inner belief and ability to know that one ball goes on the ground and you're... 12 months of hard work is down the drain and they're the standards they've set to themselves but the next time we play them we'll beat them and I think that's progress I think we talked about performance there was a performance we talked about getting in their faces we got in their faces we talked about an awful lot of things and the boys produced and who produced the senior players produced Gordon Darcy played probably his best game Rory Best was a leader Paul O'Connell was immense um, Brian O'Driscoll was immense, uh, Rob Kearney, Keane Healy was a freak. These guys are, are, are special and they need to be congratulated. Obviously, it's hugely disappointing. Myself and Shane were, you know, I don't think we've ever experienced anything like that on the sideline. But I think um, when you immerse yourself in a positive environment, as you've seen with the, with the Kiwis, I think um, these things can happen. A lot of these players, like Bowden Barr, for example, how good was he when he came on? But this fella hasn't had setbacks. He's been immersed into a confident environment and we've seen the best of him. Dave Kearney was exceptional today, a young player, completely probably unproven at this level. But he, does he have it? Yes, he does. And that's where we need to go with the team. Shane? Yeah, I think George mentioned luck at half time. I think there was absolutely nothing lucky about that performance in the first half. It was some of the best rugby I've ever seen. It was smart rugby. It was effective. It was physical. It was committed. Uh, no lack in his skill as well. I thought it was a really remarkable performance. The defensive system had, was unrecognisable from last week. The line speed, that was the thing that got Ireland into this game and it kept them in the game for such a long period. They got into the faces. They made it very difficult for the New Zealanders. And it wasn't actually until they were out in their feet in the last couple of minutes that New Zealanders Zealand really ex exploited the, the, the defensive system. Now, you know, that is, that's a, a remarkable team. And, Roger, I have to say what you said there about them being a clutch team. It is, and it, it's a sickener. But we also have seen that this, the skill level that Ireland have and the quality they have, that they can compete. So let's not, you know, let's not say that uh, the players aren't there and, and Ireland can't compete at the highest level. They can compete. They showed it today. And, and uh, I thought they were, they were phenomenal in their performance. And it's just a sickener. It really is a sickener for them. We were right down beside the subs. We saw the management, the subs, everyone together. And it it was heartbreaking for And them. I think Connor's point is very pertinent about how can we produce this because I think we are probably the best team in the world at one-off performance but for the lessons for the 2015 World Cup like the lads have to come down and come back up in six days and we saw that probably in their last World Cup very effective against Italy and yeah. nowhere against Wales so I think for this team now it's a pity there isn't a game next week but as we've seen one off fantastic but we need to progress for the World but, Cup but I think as well Rog they actually lost in a different way than Irish teams normally lose against New Zealand if that makes any sense they kept the endeavour they kept on going they actually had a line out uh, you know four minutes from the end where they went off the tack and attacked the ball into midfield and I thought that was brilliant so they didn't roll over and they didn't play conservative and say come back and attack us but they just didn't retain the ball of that last couple of phases the last couple of minutes which was all the difference uh, in the result at yeah, the end right. I think the big difference was you couldn't say Ireland were lucky today. No. They worked for everything. No. There wasn't they were an answer clinical. Look at that. They were exactly back to what they practiced all week and they got the result from it. Obviously, they didn't get the ultimate reward, but I can guarantee you, and Connor will know this from working with Harlequins, if you put yourself in that position and Johnny's position for the next time he has a kick like that, it's going to go over, you know. Obviously, it's a very harsh lesson for all of us to accept today, but no incident decides a game over 80 minutes, everyone yeah. is, is part of that outcome. So I just think that there's huge yeah. positives. But, but for all that, we scored almost nothing in the second half, and that was the difference really, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we didn't score, but we were also playing, remember, we're playing against a phenomenal team in New Zealand, one of the best teams of all time. They're talking about this is the best team of all time. So what we, look what we, we did in the first half. It was remarkable, and to be in that position was, was, was freaky. Well, what we did is, New Zealand didn't come out in the second half and blow us out of the water. We didn't roll over. I think we gave out three points in the first 20 minutes. So, you know, it, it wasn't as if we were blown off the field and there was issues with that. There was very, very fine margins to losing that game yeah. against what 
is acknowledged is the best team in the world by a long, long way. Yeah, but and just, Tom, that as well, I suppose, the fact that New Zealand didn't attack us in the first half, they're going to have their patch. They're a quality yeah. team, as we know. Just, so there's just, going just, to be moments, and you've got to hang in there and then just, just quickly, roll with the punches. Roland, because you, you read the team very well last week. What effect on that group of players has that match had today, do you think? Um... Well, I think there's so much to think about. I think, obviously, there's a whirlwind of emotions going on. Obviously, the, you can just see by the players, and they're absolutely uh, devastated, and that's a great reaction to have, and you see the reaction of our coach, and that's the standards we need to have. Gone are the days of moral victories in Ireland. They're long, long gone. This is a consistent team who's used to winning over the years, and Joe's going to bring that back, and I think we're in a good place. There's obviously, I can guarantee you, though, tomorrow morning the boys will be sick and there's none of this, oh, we did great in 79 minutes. It doesn't matter when this try was scored. We wake up tomorrow, we haven't won. But, but Tom, I think ultimately, and now it's going to be hard for them to believe it and they won't feel it, but ultimately, there'll be a positives that come out of this for them. Right. There Massive will be positives. positives. Massive positives, and deservedly yeah. so.